Hey, I'm Mike Shue, and this is the WAAF Set List, your weekly wrap-up of all things rock and more. Stone Temple Pilots are back in the studio and hope to have a five-song EP out by September with new vocalist Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. Also, WAAF presents Stone Temple Pilots at the House of Blues on September 9th. Those tickets are on sale now. Check the concert page here at WAAF.com and check out Mistress Carrie's interview with Robert and Dean DeLeo from STP on her music director's blog. Corey Taylor from Stone Sour and Slipknot has released another book. It's called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Heaven or How I Made Peace with the Paranormal and Stigmatized Zealots and Cynics in the Process. Jesus fucking Christ. Does it have to be so fucking long? It's mostly about his experience with the paranormal in various strange places, uh, including his own home. In other Slipknot news, Sean Clown Crahan is directing his first film, Officer Down was adapted from the graphic novel about an L.A. super cop who's routinely killed in the line of duty and sent back to fight crime over and over again. Whew. Right up his alley. Who is Hollywood's highest paid actor? Uh, that would be Robert Downey Jr. According to Forbes magazine, he's earned an estimated $75 million in the past 12 months. He starred in six movies that have each made over $500 million at the box office worldwide. Uh, two of those, The Avengers and Iron Man 3, uh, each earned over a billion. Uh, Channing Tatum came in second with $60 million, followed by Hugh Jackman, Mark Wahlberg, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Beastie Boy Adam Adrock Horowitz is getting back into film. He's in talks for a part in the Ben Stiller, Naomi Watts film, While We're Young. Horowitz uh, would play a friend of Stiller and Watts who are married in the film. His last acting job was in 1997's Roadside Profits. Yeah, I, I didn't see it either. Here's some disturbing news. Nearly 20% of young adult smartphone owners in the U.S. between the ages of 18 and 34 use their smartphones during sex. What? Do you believe that? And nearly 1 in 10 U.S. adults who own smartphones use them during sex. And not in a good way. Uh, the survey by Harris Interactive on behalf of the startup Jumio says it's people glancing at their iPhones to see if they got a text or a comment on their Facebook post. What? You're having sex! Come on, people. You should be using that hand for, for something else. In a possibly related story, a British scientist has invented a cell phone that can be powered by human urine. You make the connection there on your own. I'm not into that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how the idea to pee on your phone came up at Bristol Robotics Laboratory, but apparently the urine passes through a waterproof stack of cells that harness natural chemicals and tur turn them into electricity. I, I don't even want to know how it all works, but I'm guessing soon we'll have uh, phone pee stations in public bathrooms. This might keep that one guy we all know from asking to borrow your phone. At least we won't run out of energy if we did that. And that's the WAAF set list. Catch a new one every week here at WAAF.com. Also, check out our Twitter feed for station and music news, as well as our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Shu. For more exclusive on-demand video, keep checking in at WAAF.com.